semester has started, that means we have new plans, new motivation, new everything. And in fact, the newness of it all is what makes Quizwish Junior so exciting because every week we have a new pool of contestants. That's right, and so far with the pool of talent we've been seeing from all the uh, students from different schools, you know, we haven't been disappointed just yet. And you know what? I don't think there's going to be any disappointment today neither because we have another pool of incredible talent from four different schools. So without further ado, should we introduce them? Let's go meet them. All right, first off, there they are. Meet our first contestants hailing from Hanshin Elementary School. Here is Team Heroes with Chen, Jaewon, Mingche, and Jiwoo. Hanshin Heroes, we are not zeros. Wow. Loving the energy from the heroes. Up next, we've got the wings of Chuge from Chuge Elementary. We have Jiun, Junha, Minso, and Taegon. What an interesting chant there. And of course, up next, the third contestant for today from Dongguk Elementary School. Introducing the Ingenious Four with Kibom, Hee-Hun, Daniel, and Yeyun. Dongguk Ingenious Four, come on and win some more. I don't think we need mics here in this studio with this group. Not at all. Last but definitely not least, we have Team Athena from Seoul Shincheon Elementary with Yuzhan, Jaehun, Taehyun, and Kaun. Athena, go for victory! All right, so four teams, each with four contestants, making up 16 students in total joining us today. That's right. Can't wait to see which school will be the Quiz Wiz Juniors for today. But first, we're going to jump right into round one with Go, Go, Go! go. go. Now it's time for round one of Quiz Wiz Junior, which means it's time for Go Go Go, where one clue cool giver from each of the team gives out certain hints and clues. And of course, the remaining three uh, teammates do have to try to find out what that word is. Now, in the name of fairness, we had our four teams draw letters spelling out Q U I Z quiz to determine the order that they'll be going in. That's right, and it looks like Wings of Chuge was able to choose the letter Q. So you guys are going first. Step right up. Let's go. Go, go. So with Wings of Chuge going up first with the letter Q, we have our clue giver, Chunha, who's going to be giving out the hints and clues, and hopefully his teammates will be able to get those words right. 60 seconds on the clock. This is a thing top of your body. This, this part of your body. Um, head. This has two wheels. You can ride it with bicycle. One. So far, so good. Uh, if you feel a little bad or like you Medicine? have a fever, no, you are cold. you are this word. If you have have a fever or you have a cold, when you go camping, it's like your house. You you make Pen. this. This is an animal. It's very big. It's like a monkey, a big monkey. Gorilla? What is opposite of soft? Hard. What is this one? Hmm? Like if, if you go to the TV? movie theater, there is a... Time is up, and unfortunately, we were unable to give you the points for the word screen. Remember, yes. you can't be helping out your teammates. That's right. We do have some over-eager contestants, but uh, that still gives them five words that they were able to guess correctly for a total of 100 points. All right. Great job, Wings of Chuge, for that one. And selecting the letter U, we had Ingenious 4. If you guys are ready, please come on down. <laughs> We have Ingenious Four ready, and Daniel will be leading his team through the clues there. So 60 seconds on the clock. Let's see what, how they do. Oh, uh, this is, this lives in the water. Fish? Yes. Oh, uh, I am? Person. You are a girl and I Boy. am? Boy. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm wearing shoes in my foot. Yes. Oh, uh, I born in Korea. 
I born in Seoul. What? I born in what, what country? Korea. <laughs> in this country, they they are very France. Yes. That's not I, the answer. Capital. Capital of France. Fifteen seconds. Pass. Oh, when you see the night sky, there is a moon. Not another thing. Star. Yes. Oh. Time is up. Okay, so now we know that Daniel was born in Paris. All right. He wasn't <laughs> born in Seoul. He wasn't born in Korea. He was born in Paris. That's right. All right. Uh, great job to Ingenious Four. They got four words right. Going third with the letter I. Heroes ready to step up to the plate. So let's go, guys. Team Heroes, led by the clue giver Chewon, has 60 seconds for them to get as many words as possible. So let's get that 60 seconds on the clock. Let's go, go, go. This is the we make wine with this. And this is purple, and we eat this. Great. It is chance you uh, high mm, and down. Uh, high mm, down. Body. High. 20 mm, seconds. Down. Pass. Uh, this is straight? straight. No, no, no. Arm. Gold medal. Huh? Gold medal champion. And uh, prize. No, win. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Chewan. It's okay. With the, you're able to get one right, but we got something cool out of you. You're Chewan. quite the dancer. You are my favorite clue giver so far. Can we see dance again? And everyone else, dance with them. Dance with them. <laughs> Angela, I finally got someone to dance for you me. You finally yeah. got a dancer, although it did look more like jumping jacks. But Chewan, that was amazing. We absolutely love that. I <laughs> wish I could give him points for dancing, but you're able to get one word, right? Check that. That's 20 points for heroes. All right. Great job, you guys. And having selected the letter Z, we have Athena finally ready to play. Let's invite our contestants to the front. <laughs> Our final team is ready. We have Team Athena, and Jehun will be giving the clues. Jehun, what is your goal? How many do you want to get correct? Uh, we want 15. 15? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if they can get 15. 60 seconds, please. Uh, this part of your pants. Leg? No, this part. This part where you put things. This part. A pocket? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's an instrument. It you play it like this. Piano. Yes. Um, the, an animal. It goes <laughs> at night. Owl. No, it's an animal. Owl. It goes like uh, that. Fox. No. Uh, oof, oof. Yes. Uh, this part of your teeth. No. Your lips. This. No. No. Mouse. Yes. Mouse. Um, a boat. What's another word for boat? Sailboat. No. Ship. Yes, ship. Um, what is this? What do you call this shape? 15 seconds. Pass. Okay. Uh, it's, it's tomato sauce and mm. there's noodles. Uh, uh, spaghetti. Yes. Uh, uh, an old... And time! Wait, 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 wait. We got to get that sound effect again. All right. So, what sound does a wolf make? Uh, ooh. Then what sound does an owl make? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hood, hood. <laughs> it's the ah that's the difference. Ah, it's ah who versus ah, who, right? <laughs> well, nonetheless, you didn't get 15, but you were able to get the most out of the other schools out there. It was six words. Wow. Great job to Athena. Let's send them back up to the stand, please. We saw some dancing, we saw some howling, mm -hmm. but eventually round one is over. But yes. before we do move on to the next round, let's take a look at the current score so far. 
All right, we have, starting with the highest number of points, the AU team, Athena with 120 points. Next, we have Wings of Chuge with 100 points. Ingenious Ford just a tad behind at 80, and Heroes with 20 points, but awesome dance moves. That's right. He gets uh, extra points from me just on the side. But <laughs> don't worry if you're falling apart because there are many, many uh, corners out there. More games, more points to score. Of course, you can score more points coming up next in round two with True, True or False. Round two is pretty easy to understand, true or false, so we give a statement. If you think it's true, you lift up O. If you think it's false, you lift up X. That's right. You have the buzzers in there. Remember, you only get one chance. If you press that button, mm -hmm. O or X, you're not going to get a second chance. So without further ado, let's take a listen to our first statement for our true or false. <laughs> Machu Picchu is an ancient monument of the Inca Empire. True or false? Three seconds on the clock. Press your buttons now. So we have all four teams with their answers in. They all agree that it's true. So let's find out the answer. All right. Yep. It is indeed true. See some high fives going on. Okay, so even playing field. Let's see if there's any differences in the next statement. Christmas in New Zealand occurs in summer. Is that true or false? Please respond Three now. Seconds. All right, we got all true. We'll find out once again whether or not it is true or false and see if they all get the points. Let's find out. That is indeed true. They do have Christmas in their summertime. That's right. Now all of them were able to get a nice start in the second round. Let's take a listen to our third true or false statement. The Mesozoic era's Jurassic period is named after a dinosaur. Is it true or false? Have your answers in three seconds. Athena? All right, very okay. nice. We have some different answers this time. That's right. So let's first get the correct answer on the screen. It is false. It is not named after a dinosaur. Jurassic gets its name from the Jura Mountains. All right, great job to Heroes and Ingenious 4. Uh, moving on, next statement, please. In football, a goal can be scored directly from a throw-in. Is it true or false? Three seconds. We need your answers in now. All right, once again, we have split decision here. Is it true or false? In football, a goal can't be scored directly from a throw-in. It's false, you can't. It is indeed false. So they have to touch That's the right. ball, right? Exactly. We have our one last true or false statement, so let's carefully take a listen. The Angelus and the Gleaners are famous paintings by Claude Monet. Ooh, you gotta know your art for this one. Get your answers in now. Three seconds on the clock. All right, and we got three trues and one false. So let's see who has the correct answer. <laughs> It was false. It's false. It was false, but uh, of course, Hero is getting very excited over their correct answer. So that brings them up another 20 points, bringing us to the end of true or false. Can we get a score recap, please? Well, it seems like we have a tie for first place. First off, Athena with 160 points. They are tied for first with Wings of Chuge, who also have 160 points, but it's a close one right now. That's right. Ingenious 4 with 140 points. They're in second. And Heroes, they're not too far behind neither. 120 points. Ooh, so continuing a very tight race. Let's see if we can get some more significant gaps in round three. This is Word, Word Up. Up. 
Now this is round three of Quiz Wiz Junior with Word Up, and this is an interesting one. Starting last week, we changed up the rules a little bit. That's right. We're now, depending on which category, we'll see 15 different scrambled words. Of course, for all of our contestants, their job is to unscramble as many as they can in 60 seconds. Yes, so efficient teamwork is very crucial to getting as many words in this round. So all four teams, pens and boards in front of them, let's get our words. All right, school is the category. These look like pretty long words too, don't they, SJ? <laughs> Every time I see long words, my mind just goes blank. But I do see some words I think I could unscramble too. Me too, I'm trying it out in my head. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's some really hard ones too. Uh, we are closing in just about at the 30 second mark. All right, all the teams working very hard. We have some teams erasing it and writing new words down. We have some quiet ponders as well, not as much writing. Really focused too, some of them. All right, getting some last couple of words down before the clock stops at five seconds left on the clock. And that is all markers nice. down. Boards up above your heads. No more riding or we will disqualify. All right, our staff members got real busy to check the answers from all four schools. But before we give out the scores mm -hmm. and how many words certain schools were able to get, let's first find out what those words were. All 15 unscrambled. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. So much better this way, no? Exactly. <laughs> we have some of our contestants going, oh, that's the word. <laughs> but, of course, all of them were able to get many, many words. But we'll find out which school had the most number of words scrambled. Mm -hmm. First, with nine words, Athena. You guys finished first in this round. Followed by Heroes, who was able to get eight words. Followed by Wings of Chuge with seven words. And Ingenious 4, you guys were pretty close to six words. Ah, uh, so very close race. Now, I always love to hear about some of the funny words, mm. the funny stories. Were there any this time? Well, guess who had the funny answer of the day? Uh. Chunha, I believe you are responsible for it. What was the word that you missed spelled, apparently? I was supposed to spell backpack, but I wrote it backpack. Bag pack. In Korean, we wouldn't have known the difference, but in English, it does make a significant difference, right? That's right. <laughs> now, to get a score recap on the total score so far, we have in first place, Athena with 340 points. Coming in second, Wings of Chuge with 300 points. Heroes, 280. And Ingenious 4, just a little a smidgen behind, 260 points. That's right. It is probably the closest race we've seen so far here on Quiz Wiz Junior. But we still have another round coming up next, which is What, what Am, am I? I? Here we are already in the final round for the first half of Quiz Wish Junior. This is going to be the round that determines which two teams will remain moving on to the second half. That's right. And with this, it is called What Am I? It's a riddle qu uh, quiz question, right? So here's the thing, though. With every hint you get, you're going to be able to get less points. That's right. Each riddle, only one shot at answering. So please use that one shot very carefully. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Okay, you look a little nervous. Let's get our first riddle. I strip when I have to. Just one letter, K. Wonder if any school is willing to take the risk of getting that full 50 points. Not much to work with. No, but we're gonna give all of them, three seconds on the clock. Time is up. Okay, so bringing us down to 40 points for this riddle, let's get our second hint. 
A lot of people are afraid of me. Ingenious four. Snake. Snake is the correct yeah. answer. <laughs> Very nice, ingenious four. All right, seems like the other schools knew the answer too, but remember, whoever presses the buzzer first yes. gets the chance. So 40 points to ingenious four. So next up, let's take a listen to our second riddle. English physicist William Gilbert compared Earth to a gigantic version of me. has been revealed along with our hint. Three seconds on the clock. And time. It looks like we're ready to listen to our second hint. I can be strong enough to lift a car. So far, we have T-A-M and two hints worth 40 points. We're going to have to get three seconds on the clock. All no right. takers. No takers, but still 30 points is a lot too. Let's take a look into our 30 point hint. Though I can come in different shapes, my properties remain the same. This is uh, maybe one of our trickiest riddles yet. Athena. Magnet. Magnet. Yes. All right, Magnet, that was the answer in Athena. With that, you were able to add 30 more points on your scoreboard. All right, we have our next riddle coming up, so listen carefully to our first hint. Everyone has me. D. Wings of Chuge. Body. Body. That no, is not correct. That leaves Wings of Chuge uneligible to answer this riddle. That's right. We'll see if the other schools are willing to take the 50 pointer. Three seconds on the clock. Okay, that 50 points is out the window, but don't worry, we still have 40 for you with our next hint. I party with you once a year. Heroes. Birthday. Birthday. Yes, everybody does have birthdays. I kind of wish I would stop getting mine, but <laughs> yes, that was the correct answer. 40 points for Heroes, and it's still a very, very close match right now. We'll have to take a listen to our next riddle and our first hint. I was used as medicine in ancient Egypt. The letter C. Athena is discussing with their teammates, but still no answers. Three seconds on the clock. Fair enough, it was pretty tough. It's hard to get it from the first hint, so let's take a listen to our next hint. Vampires. Ooh. Athena says, one more time. Garlic. Garlic. That is incredible. <laughs> you heard Correct. the word. All right, so, Chehun, yes. you heard one single word from the second hint, and that word was? Vampire. Vampire, and he saw the letters. Yes. That was pretty impressive. Garlic. Che, who knows that garlics and vampires do not go together, right? That's right. They're able to get 40 points on this one. Don't worry, though. We still have one more riddle to take a listen to, so listen carefully to our first hint. Every place I momentarily rest has a specific name. Letter A. This one is pretty tough. Okay, three seconds. All right, so taking a listen to our 40 point hint, so listen carefully. I get really busy during the holidays. Athena. Airplane. Airplane. 
No, sorry. It's up to the heroes. Wings of Chuge, an ingenious four for the 40 pointer. Right now, they're so close. This, oh, heroes. Train. 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 It's not an airplane, but it's a train. Very nice. That brings heroes up to 360 points. That's right. This was a pretty, pretty close first half of our show. I mean, heroes, Wings of Chuga, and Ingenious 4, they were all kind of neck and neck. We had no idea who would move on, but that last question determined our final two teams. That's right. Now, before we do see who our two finalists are, it is time to reveal the scores overall for all four schools. First up, in first place, with 410 points, Athena. Congratulations. And next in second, we have Heroes with 360 points. Now, Wings of Chuge and Ingenious 4, you guys finished tied for third, and it was a very, very close one, 300 points. Oh, we are so proud of you guys. Great job. Great job to our two teams then. Unfortunately, we'll have to say goodbye here. That's right, but we'll be seeing Athena and Heroes coming up in the second half of Quiz Wiz Junior. It was a speed kit. It was really interesting. And Even though we didn't go to the second round, I think we did a great job. I'm not feeling that sick because we had a great time solving problems. And I think it was a great chance to be here. Oh, at the last part, uh, what am I? I was thinking about the train, but uh, another team uh, pushed Button first, so I was a little bit yes. Uh, from when I was young, I always wanted to come to the broadcasting station, and so I'm very happy now, and I think it is good experience. It's the start of second half of Quiz Wiz Junior, which means it's time for Team Showdown. That's right. Yeah. This is the round of elimination where we start off one on one. The loser gets eliminated. We keep going until there's only one person standing. That's right. And of course, in the first half of the program, with Athena finishing with the highest score, they will have the opportunity to pick their first opponent, Yusun. From Team Athena, we'll be choosing your first opponent. Who is it going to be? I'll pick Minche. Minche. <laughs> it's Yusun versus Minche in the first round of Team Showdown. Okay, let's see who comes out victorious. Listen to the first question. <laughs> It is said, Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci took four years to paint this. This painting is currently displayed at the Louvre Museum in Paris. This famous painting depicts an enigmatic smiling woman with no visible eyebrows. Yusun. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Yes, it is indeed. That's right. Seemed like Minche was just a little late in ringing her buzzer, but in the end, it's the one that rings it the fastest. Yuzan, you're able to eliminate Minche, which means you're going to pick your next opponent. Who will it be? Gio. Gio. <laughs> Okay, so Gio is up. Gio, are you ready to defend the heroes? Yes. All right, let's get our next question. The most famous utterance of this exclamation is reportedly by the ancient Greek mathematician Archimedes. He yelled this after stepping into a bath and noticing the level of the water rising. In ancient Greek, this word 
has a meaning similar to I have found it or I know. What is this? Yes, Chiyo. Eureka? Is it? Eureka! Yes. That's exactly what you can say. Eureka! That's right. <laughs> Gio, when you know the answer, what do you say? Eureka. There we go. Eureka! She's found the answer, which means you sound unfortunately for you. You have been eliminated and Chiyo, you get to choose your next opponent. Kaun. Kaun. <laughs> So far, each team has one of their members eliminated. So it's even game so far, Khan versus Chiyo. Let's take a listen to our next question. Find the common color related to the following sentences. An area of woods, parks, or open land surrounding a community. An environmental organization with a main goal to ensure the ability of Earth to nurture life in all its diversity. The largest island in the world that belongs to Denmark. Yes, Gio. Green. Green. Yes, correct. That is the answer, which means Khan has been eliminated. So you can go back to your spot while Chiu chooses her next opponent. Who is it going to be? Taehyun. Taehyun, please come up. Let's get our question. This is an international organization that promotes the stabilization of the world's currencies. This maintains a monetary pool from which member nations can draw in order to correct a deficit. During the 1997 Asian financial crisis, South Korea also had to seek the aid of this. What is this? Taehyun. IMF. IMF. That's right. Yes. IMF is the answer. Do you know what IMF stands for? Mm, it's okay, you got the no. point, so. <laughs> no? Mm -hmm. IMF stands for International Monetary Fund. So just in case, you can have that in your knowledge as well. Uh, great job to Taeyeon. Uh, do you want to select your opponents? Jaewon. Pretty level match right now. They're both neck and neck. Taeyeon versus Jaewon. Let's take a listen to our next question. In Hindu mythology, this originally described the manifestation or incarnation of a deity on earth. Nowadays, however, this designates a graphical image or alter ego representing a person in a cyberspace. What is this? Any takers for that question? Avatar? Avatar! Yes! Very nice. <laughs> Correct answer from Jaewon. And that eliminates Taehyun, leaving only one contestant standing. That's right. It is Jaehoon who's going to be stepping up to the plate. <laughs> These are both our representative male members of the team. That's right. Jaehoon versus Jaewon. Let's take a listen to our next question. A desert is an arid, barren area of land with less than 250 millimeters of precipitation each year. It is estimated that deserts cover over 20% of Earth's land surface. After the Antarctic and Arctic deserts, this desert in North Africa is the third Chewan. Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. Correct. All right, Chewan, dance for me. Dance for me now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is eliminating Chewan, the last member of Athena standing, meaning heroes was the winning team. That's right. <laughs>
having finished that round right there, let's get a score recap. We have Heroes taking the lead with 400 points and Athena with 200 points. That's right. But here's the thing. 200 points seems a lot of difference. But I do have to emphasize that in the other games, you're going to be getting a lot of points. So mm -hmm. it's not over just yet. And of course, you'll add more points in our next round, which is all coming up next on Brain, Brain Flash. Flash. Our next round, we call it Brain Flash, and it does require pretty good memory to get ahead in this one. Uh, basically, we're going to show 12 images and words on the screen. We're going to have one representative from each team attempting to memorize as many of those as possible. And then with those memorized words, we have another contestant trying to guess the common link. That's right. But here's the thing, though. You only have 15 seconds to memorize all those words. So you're going to have to be very quick and use your brains quite a bit. Right. And as you can see, we have all our contestants ready with the appropriate gear. That's right. So we'll look at the cards on the screen. Goes by quick, huh? We are down to five seconds. And time. All right, time is up, which means heroes once again, they are in the lead. Chen Wan is going to be calling out the first word Sesame. Sesame. Whale. That is also up there. Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Olive. Petroleum. That was on there. So far, so Cooking. good. Cooking. Cooking is Ball also pen. up there. Paint. Wow. wow. Car. <gasps> Lamp. Yes. Chair one, three Come seconds. On, But still, I think this might be the highest number of images that they memorized. Well, now it's still Tayan's turn. Do you have any more words? No, Tayan's at a loss as well. Okay, not bad though. Uh, only two blanks left there. That's right. They were able to get five words each. But Chewan is going to go first with his teammate. So Chewan, why don't you help out your teammate taking out the headphones and the masks? So we have Chewan joining us. Chewan, the good news is Chewan, your teammate, actually memorized quite a bit for you to work with. Let's look at those hints that was memorized by Chewan. Three seconds. Money. So money was what came out. That's right. We'll have to find out if that is the answer. But first, it's now Athena's turn. So why don't you guys uh, help out Yusan? Take out the headphones. Okay, Yusan. Now we had your teammate memorize five words, and we're going to show them to you to guess the common word. Let's get those words. Three seconds. Take a guess. No answer ah. from Athena, unfortunately. All right. So we had one answer from Heroes. They said money. Yes. Athena unable to answer after the time they were given. Let's look at the rest of the clues here and the answer. Oil, oil was the answer. Right. Cooking, olive oil, Sesame right? Sesame oil, right. Ah. Well, still though, both teams are able to get the points with the words that their teammates were able to memorize. But now it's time to do a little switcheroo. So let's switch the headphones and the memorizing rolls. For heroes, I believe it is Min Che who is going to be the memorizer. Chiu will soon later on find out what that common word is. And for yeah. Athena, Jehun is going to try to memorize as many words as possible as Kaun will try to figure out that one word later on. So if you guys are ready, Let's take a look at those flashcards. 15 seconds. And 
closing in on five seconds. Okay, time. All right, uh, we have heroes in the lead, which means they get to start off with the reciting of their memorized words. That's right. So, Min Che, you will say the first word. Fly. Mars. Fish. Good start so far. Steam. Washes. Bridge. Neck and neck. Fire truck. Well. This is usually the hard part. It's always the last four, right? That's right. Well, Min Che, we'll be giving you three seconds on the clock. Che Hoon, it's up to you. Venice. Any more? TH something. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't give you TH something. Why Thalus? don't you hold on to that Thalus? for yourself? Thalus? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Any other words? Uh, no. Uh, but that's still giving you um, a little bit of an advantage over heroes. That's right. But heroes will go first mm -hmm. in trying to get that one common word from Chio. So, Vincha, why don't you help out Chio in taking off her mask and her headphones? Okay, Gio, if you are ready, we are ready to show you what words Minche memorized. Okay, do you have an answer? Water. 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 Now, we'll have to find out if that is indeed the answer, but first, Athena. We'll go next. Khan, of course, still messed up and has the help on. She would help her out a little bit. Telling his teammate, hey, do it. <laughs> I'm the boss. All right, well, you're going to get quite a bit of help from Che Hoon, so let's take a look at those hints. So Athena has two more words than Hero is dead. That's right, six hint words. There's one thing in common water. Water. Okay, we have the final answers from Heroes and Athena, and they both guessed water. That's right. Before we do reveal the answer, let's take a look at other cards or other words that they're unable to guess. There you go. Well, it is water, though. Correct. All right, so each team do get that point for guessing it right, but also Athena, who was able to get six hints, gets slightly more points yep. in this round. Okay, so that is wrapping up Brain Flash, and not that big of a gap. I mean, anything less than 300 points, we don't consider a big gap because the final battle has some mega point worthy questions. That's right, and so far with two rounds over in the second half of the program, we have Heroes with 680 points there in the lead, but hey, Athena right behind them with 520 points. So. Yes. We're going to go after those 300-pointers, the 200-pointers, and the 100-pointers, all coming up next on Final, Final Battle. Battle. It's called Final Battle for a reason. It's our final round here on Quiz Wiz Junior. Now, it's a very close race, mm -hmm. and this is going to make a huge difference. That's right. We have various categories, and each category will be worth different points, um, ranging from 100 to 300. So this could be quite the opportunity for Athena to catch up with the heroes. That's right. Seven different categories, each worth a different point. So we're going to take a look at the categories right now. Ooh. All right, now we have the power, SJ. Do you want to pick today's first category? Yes, you know what? I'm going to go first. I like games, so I want to know what game for 100 is. Let's take a listen. This is a beloved video game worldwide. A trilogy sci-fi film adaptation of this is also under development. This is a tile-matching puzzle game where players have to create... Athena. Athena. Uh, Tetris. Tetris. Is it Tetris? 
Yes. It's correct. 100 points for <laughs> Athena. Tetris is a very old school game, no? It is, but you know what? Still, a lot of kids it. do play it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that gives Athena the choice to select the next category. What would it be? Music for 100. Music for 100, here it comes. The piece you are listening to is an arrangement of Bach's orchestral suite number three. The title of this arrangement, Air on the G String, was named as such because the first solo part can be played on the lowest G string of this instrument. This instrument is part of... Athena. Violin. Violin. Very nice. All right, Athena, able to get back-to-back -back answers there. So, with that, you guys get another chance at choosing the next category. Food 200. Food 200. Some sources say this was first made when British sailors would steam a mixture of leftover breadcrumbs, flour, milk, and eggs on their long ocean journeys. Toast. Heroes. Toast. Toast is not the answer. Now, Athena, would you like to listen to the rest of the question? You guys yes. have a chance? Yes. All right. Yes. This was meat-based in the Middle Ages, but has now become most associated with dessert. Athena. Ice cream. Is it ice cream? No, I'm sorry. Now, they were both unable to get it. Now, there's still more to the question. Right. Uh, first, why don't we take a listen to the rest of the question? Usually served cold and soft in consistency, this is a rich starch or dairy-based food. What is this? Now, since both teams got it wrong on their first attempt, it's back open. That's right. For both teams. Heroes. Waffle. Waffles. <laughs> I do love chocolate waffles. Athena. Cake. Cake. <laughs> Okay, all my favorites. All right, we're getting uh, a whole bunch of desserts here. Yeah. We're getting hungry. I think we're going to have to take this question out. We'll give the correct answer. It was actually chocolate pudding. Yes, pudding was the oh, answer there. Oh. It seems like some of them actually knew the answer, mm -hmm. but, well, the answer didn't come out. But yes. still, Athena, because you guys were the last to get the correct answer, you guys still have the chance to choose the next category. Ah. Uh. Science, 300. Ooh, going big. Science for 300. Not too long ago, a huge gas field of this was found in East Africa. Amid a global shortage of this, this discovery turns out to be a game changer. In effect, this has multiple medical and industrial applications. Due to its low density, inhaling this will momentarily give people a rather... A helium. 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 300 points Correct. to Athena. Good job to Athena bringing you to 1,020 points, breaking into the four digits yeah. now. That, once again, goes back to Athena for your next choice. Literature for 200. Literature for 200, let's carefully listen. Recently, the Korean National Ballet has recreated this into a ballet performance. Taking place in La Mancha, Spain, this is the most famous satirical novel by Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra. This features famous characters such as Sancho or Athena. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. That is correct. That is indeed the correct answer, bringing them up another couple hundred points there. Still, Athena, with their choice, is it going to be country or phenomenon for 300? Country for 200. Country for 200. Listen carefully to the following dialogue. 
You're taking off tomorrow, right? Lucky you! If only I had the time, I'd totally tag along too. <sighs> yeah, it's too bad you can't make it, but I'm still so excited. <sighs> so, where exactly will you be going? Venice, Florence, Italy. Italy, is that the answer? Athena? <gasps> Italy is the correct answer. And once again, thanks to our brilliant acting, Okay. All right. One question or category left. Let's perk up our ears and get the last one. That's right. Phenomenal for 300. NASA has recently captured this in Jupiter's atmosphere. This describes the bombardment of the atmosphere with charged solar particles, which results in a light display in the sky created by solar wind this is often called Heavenly Curtains, or Heroes. heroes. Oh, oh, on the tip of his tongue. Three seconds. Aurora. Aurora. Yes. That is the correct answer, which adds more points on the board for them. That was worth 300 points. Now. That is all the categories we have. All seven categories are gone, which means this is the conclusion of Quiz Wiz Junior. Yes, yeah, so we did have a big surge in that last round. This is our final score recap. Athena with 1,420 points. And Heroes, nice effort at the end though, bringing them up to 980 points. Heroes, which round did you struggle the most with? Did you feel that was the hardest? Final battle. Final battle. Final battle. Those questions final were battle. hard, huh? Yeah. Athena, thanks to the final battle, you guys were able to bounce back. How do you guys feel? We feel extremely uh, astonished. Astonished. <laughs> that's, that's the first time I heard that word on our show. Astonished. All right. Congratulations to Athena. Which means today's Quiz Wiz Junior champions are Athena. Congratulations to you guys. Just an incredible and exciting show here on Quiz Wiz Junior. A come from behind victory for Athena, but of course for all the other students and schools that do want to participate here on our program, they can. That's right, we have a website you can check out details. We have www.arirang.com open for any elementary school students interested. That's right, we'll be looking forward to more schools joining us here on our program, but until then, do join us same time next week here on Quiz Wiz Junior. Junior.